Joining me now, Trump national spokeswoman Katrina Pearson, CNN political commentator S.E. Cup, and Democratic strategist Jamal Simmons. Uh, I want to start with you with the Republican race, and I want to start now, if I can, S.E., with some sound we just got in from Donald Trump's most recent event in Concord, New Hampshire, oh, where we had our dinner. Our dinner bash, a hard news uh, question here, but, but one of those powerful Trump moments. Sure. We're going to play this clip. This is uh, when a dog barked in the audience and the crowd responded. Have a listen. A couple events like two weeks ago in New Hampshire where the weather was so bad. In fact, my pilot said, no, Mr. Trump, this is something you shouldn't do. What was that? Is that a dog? Uh-uh. <laughs> it's Hillary. Ah. Uh, only in New Hampshire. Well, smiles there, a new low. It's a classy campaign. Mm -hmm. it, it really is. It's a classy campaign, and we're all so thrilled that we get to talk about these kinds of things. Look, I, 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 don't, I don't know how you react in the moment to sort of that, you know, spontaneous uh, event, but I think um, someone like maybe Marco Rubio or Jeb Bush or Ted Cruz would probably have handled it differently. I don't know. Jamal? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that Trump really, he didn't lean on it. It wasn't as if he sort of jumped on it and said something else positive. So, I don't okay. know. I'm not sure this is the big let's thing. Let, let's let sleep, <laughs> we'll let sleeping dogs lie. I know. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh. Katrina, I want to go to you because early on uh, today, of course, we had a key event for Mr. Trump, and that was his appearance at Liberty University, a chance for him to appeal directly to an evangelical audience. Now, during that time, we, he had a moment where he quoted from the Bible. <laughs> and I just want to play that clip if I can for you. Have a listen. 2 Corinthians 3.17. That's the whole ball game. Where the Spirit of the Lord, right? Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Who has read The Art of the Deal in this room? Everybody. I always say, <laughs> I always say, a deep, deep second to the Bible. I have great relationship with God. I have great relationship with uh, the evangelicals. In fact, nationwide, I'm, I'm up by a lot. I'm leaving everybody. Now, that last clip, just a reminder of viewers, that was from an interview that Mr. Trump did earlier with Jake Tapper. Now, now some of these comments, uh, Katrina, raised eyebrows because they're not how evangelicals typ typically speak about their religion. For example, just uh, they're more likely to say 2 Corinthians rather than 2 Corinthians. Does this, uh, just from your perspective, was this a missed opportunity? Was this an uncomfortable moment for Donald Trump? No, not at all, Jim. I mean, he, he, you got to give him credit. He's out there. He's campaigning. He's never been a politician before. And Donald Trump doesn't say many things the way most people have been conditioned <laughs> to hear them. But what I will say is that he is up among evangelicals, and he has support from black pastors and evangelical pastors all over the country. He's doing very well among evangelicals. And the fact that he's out there campaigning the way that he is, you got to give him credit. Well, Jim, I got to tell you, go ahead, Jamal. The way he says the evangelicals is kind of the way people say the blacks. <laughs> you know, it's, there's a certain amount of distance that it seems like he's putting between himself and this really vibrant community in the Republican Party. It just doesn't seem like he has the uh, ease, the facility the with this community that he, one would need to be competitive. Essie, one, one thing we noticed in both those events earlier in Concord and at Liberty University is that Donald Trump did not go after Ted Cruz yeah. to the degree we certainly see yeah. virtu virtually right up until today. Is that a noticeable strategic shift on his part? I would assume so. Um, I would assume he's noticing that specifically in Iowa, that's just not having the effect that I think he, he wanted it to, questioning Ted Cruz's um, eligibility to be president, questioning Ted Cruz's evangelical mm -hmm. uh, bona fides. Um, not really having the effect he wanted in Iowa. Those, those Iowa voters, um, they like Ted Cruz. And certainly they like Donald Trump too, but I don't think he's going to win any, any points, close that gap by, by tearing Ted Cruz down.